Hello there! So recently I got a request uh, to do a video. Uh, I don't get requests like ever, so yeah, I finally got around to doing it. Um, the request was to do a video where I show off my books and DVDs of Wonder Woman. And um, I know I kind of covered that in my uh, big Wonder Woman merchandise video that I did a long time ago, probably over a year now. Um, but I've gotten a few more books and DVDs since then, so I thought, well, might as well do one, do this video now, because I think it's about time, yeah. But first I want to show you, uh, I've done a little rearranging on the merchandise, it's nothing big. Basically I just put this uh, uh, shelf in the middle of the two big shelves, and the t-shirts are there now. Um, yeah, I think it looks better that way. Don't you agree with the two big ones framing the little one? Oh uh, yeah, and this is where all my books and DVDs are stored. So... Yeah, I might as well get to that. Just set up the camera and we'll get to it. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it's hot. I don't like the weather at the moment. It's too hot for me. I do not like it hot. Um, it's Wales. Why is it so bloody hot? Okay. Uh, I'll start with the DVD then. Um, I'll just remove this and this is the Wonder Woman soundtrack CD and a little sheet of toy. I'll just, move, I'll just move them. Uh, here we've got, I already covered these two, some Justice League cartoon uh, DVDs that I found in a second hand shop. I've already showed these off. Uh, these are, these we already know as well. Wonder Woman, the animated movie, and uh, some episodes of Justice League again. The Justice League cartoon, sorry, I'm not a very good camera person. I already showed them off. Uh, next, we've got some new new ones. Yes, some new ones. I'll just get these out. We've got Justice League. The New Frontier Commemorative Edition animated movie. Uh, pretty good. Can't really say much more about it. It's just pretty good. Um, I don't, I'm not really, I don't rave about it, but it's, it's watchable. Next, we've got Justice League War, which is another animated Justice League movie. And it's pretty good. And this is where the famous Ice Cream is Wonderful line uh, by Wonder Woman comes from. And then we've got Justice League The Flashpoint Paradox, which, yeah, I remember now I have showed you before. So that's them. Let's put them there. And these next ones I'm going to show you I've just started collecting. Uh, they're a lot of fun. Yeah, these are Lego DC comic superheroes. Uh, Justice League movies. This one's Justice League Gotham City Breakout. Justice League Cosmic Clash, original movie. This one's really good actually. This one's my favourite. Um, because I think it's the funniest and it also it has Supergirl in it. And Supergirl in this one is really, really funny. I really like her a lot and there's a little Wonder Woman there. Um, yep. Next, Justice League Attack the Legion of Doom. Wonder Woman does that again. That's another very good one. And Justice League versus Bizarro League. Uh, this is the shortest one, only 47 minutes long. The rest of them are at least 75 minutes. 75, 75, and this one's only 74. So, yeah, they don't take a lot of time to watch, and they're good to, you know, kill an hour or so. And they're very they're very good movies, actually. The, the uh, jokes are very good, the characters are very good, and very funny. Um, yeah, they don't take themselves too seriously. Because it is Lego, Lego DC, and I really like them a lot. They're a lot of fun. Yeah. Let's put them back. Next up, these these next ones again I've just started collecting recently. Uh, yes, it, these are Lego DC Superhero Girls and regular DC Superhero Girls movies. Yeah, these are the regular ones. Uh, Superhero Girls Intergalactic Games original movie, like the web series, but full length, the 73 minutes. And Hero of the Year, which is 73 minutes as well. Yep, that's Hero of the Year. And these two are Lego DC Superhero Girls. So exactly the same, but the characters are Lego, Legoized. This one's Super Villain High, which is the newest release. And this one's Brain Drain. I think out of the two Lego ones, I think Brain Drain is better. 
And out of these two, I think Hero of the Year is the better one. I really like the DC Superhero Girls uh, range a lot. They're a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, but the web series has come to an end now. Um, to make way for the TV series. Oh, I like the colours. Very primary colours, very superhero-like. Yes, to make way for the uh, TV series that's going to be airing on Cartoon Network um, soon. I'm not sure when exactly, but definitely soon. In this year. Within this year, I'm sure of it. So, and I've seen uh, pictures so far of the new character designs and it's uh, changed a lot from this design so I'm not really sure how I feel about it yet but I'm going to reserve my judgement for when the cartoon comes out because you never know it might be really good but I don't think it's going to be as good as the web series because I really have come to really enjoy that a lot and it's a shame there won't be any more of them but maybe now I'll save some money on merchandising because they won't make the dolls all the time now but they'll probably make more merchandise for the TV series depending on how popular it is anyway this is obviously Oh, it's coming a bit closer. The Wonder Woman, Linda Carter, TV series. The folk set, series 1, 2 and 3. Ugh, now we get into live action movies. Um, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. Obviously it's got Wonder Woman in it, so i got to have it. Obviously, of course, Wonder Woman, the movie. Next. This is a new addition to my collection. Professor Marston and the Wonder Women, the very, very good movie. I recommend it, about the guy who created Wonder Woman and his two wives. Yep, well, wife and mistress, but, you know, let's call them both his wives. He was pretty much married to both of them. Uh, Justice League DVD. Yes, the Justice League. Mm, yes, and next, Blu-rays. I don't collect Blu-rays for any other movies except uh, Wonder Woman related because I'm still a DVD person. I still like DVDs and I don't intend on starting replacing everything with Blu-rays until ever I until if ever DVDs are stopped being made like, like what happened to VHS. Yes, I'm not replacing all my bloody DVDs just for Blu-rays. I don't see any difference in quality. Maybe it's my TV, I don't know. But I see no difference in quality, and I'm not going to do it just because something's new. Obviously, again, it's just Batman v Superman, Wonder Woman, and Justice League. Which I've got to say, alright, this is my most recent addition to my collection. Totally not worth the extra £15 for the extra features. I'm not. I'm just being honest. The, uh,. Bonus scene not seen in cinemas. Ugh, just Superman coming back and talking to Alfred a little bit. Wow, that was so worth the extra fifteen pound. Not. I'm. I'm not annoyed that I bought it. I'm just, you know, could have been better. All right, next we're into books. So that's all my DVDs and Blu-rays. There, nicely aligned. All right, next up we're into books, and most of these I've shown already in my last uh, video. So. It shouldn't take long. This is a notebook. That's not really a book. This is the novel, novelization of the movie. This is the kids version of the novelization of the movie, which cuts out all the deaths and and the uh, sex scene. I know there wasn't a proper sex scene in the movie, but you know what I mean. Uh, Wonder Woman at Subiero High. One of the this is one of the worst novels I've ever read. I'm sorry, it's just bad. Uh, this is new. Wonder Woman Warbringer, a novel that came out after the movie came out. It's uh, not really the Wonder Woman I know and love, but um, it's it's readable. Right, these again, these are new that I've just started to collect. I'll just zoom out. These are DC Superhero Girls uh, graphic novels, like the web series, but in book form. There's a Finals Crisis. Hits and Myths, Summer Olympus, uh, Pastimes at Superhero High, and the, the newest one, Date with Disaster. Yes, and which one was it? Uh, oh yeah, this one has something quite amusing to me in one of the uh, front pages. Okay, there's, there's a sort of family tree of 
Wonder Woman, because this is kind of Wonder Woman focus, this book. Um, there's a family tree of Wonder Woman. Basically, Zeus and Hippolyta are her parents, and there, there's Wonder Woman. And on the next page is all the other illegitimate children that Zeus sired. Uh, yep, half sisters and half brothers. We've got Sriracha, Hermes, who are major characters in this book. Uh, Aphrodite, Aphrod sorry, Aphrodite, Apollo, De Demeter, Demeter. I don't know. I'm not good with Greek pronunciations. Janus, Ares. We know Ares. Um, Strife. I don't even know how you pronounce that. Uh, Teich, Teich, Teich. Eros and Athena. And I know, I'm not. Uh, 100% with my Greek mythology, uh, it's all a bit, no, it was not all confusing to me, but, uh, I know that Apollo and Athena are, well, Ares is a legitimate child, because he's the son of Zeus and Hera, his only wife. He did play around with a lot of women, Hippolyta included, was one of them. Um, I know that Apollo and Athena, Apollo and Athena are children of Leto, I think. Yeah, and their brother and sister. Um, or is it Apollo and Aphrodite? No, I think it's Apollo and Athena. See, I'm not 100% in my Greek mythology, but it's a really a fascinating subject. I just think this is amusing to put in a children's graphic novel. All the other children he has had. With other women that were not his wife, Hippolyta included. Mm. Yep, there's uh, Wonder Woman. And this graphic novel, um, she goes to stay on Mount Olympus for the summer and meets up with all her brothers and sisters and has a wacky time. Yep. It's really good. This is one of my favourites. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing Sriracha correctly. It's like the sauce. But I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know. Yeah, but I know he has more He has more children than that because they didn't include Heracles in this in this slot, so I'm sure he has more children than that. Mm. Yes. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I really love these. And they're probably not going to make these anymore because of, of what I before. The television program is happening soon. Now they're all, I've got these all out of uh, they uh, out of order now. Which, next is some Olympus, I think. Yep, and then pastimes, and then date with disaster. Barbara Gordon tries to set up her dad, Commissioner Gordon, on a date. It's quite good, and Steve Trevor's in this one as well. He has a medium-sized role. Let me just find him. Uh, let me just find a picture of him. Oh, there he is. There he is in the background. Little Steve Trevor. He tries to ask Wonder Woman to a dance to the dance. There they are dancing together, and it's quite amusing. But he doesn't think he should because he's not a superhero, and it's kind of sweet. Okay, just put these back. Uh, those are the newest ones I think that I've added to the collection recently. All the others I've already shown you. Yep. <clears throat> just put these back. Uh, Justice League official guide. Uh, DC Comics here by uh, Wonder Woman, greatest stories ever told. Diana Prince, Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman, who is Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman, Love and Monsters. Coloring book, The Ultimate Guide, Ultimate Sticker Book, Warriors, Wonder Woman Mega Sticker, Justice League Mega Sticker, Batman vs Superman Mega Sticker, and Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice Annual. All those I covered in my last um, big merchandise video and the others I've covered in videos uh, so far. And that's it, basically, for all my books and DVDs. I love how they fit snugly on this shelf now. They don't collapse. I used to have a bookend keeping them all in. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with this collection. I really can't complain. I think, yes, quite happy with all my DVDs and books. Definitely gonna need a new shelf soon. If I get any more books, there's not gonna be no, any enough room on this shelf anymore. I'll have to move the DVDs to their own shelf. 
Yep. I'm definitely gonna need a new bookshelf soon. That's it's on my list. It's on my list. I'm gonna soon, I'm sure in the next few months, get a new shelf. So I'll just put little cheetah back on top. She likes to hang out there. Hang on. And I'll put this back there. I do have a few magazines that I don't put on the shelf because they make it unsturdy. Um, but I've already shown you these, so the Justice League and uh, Collector's Edition magazines. But I also have... Oh yeah, here's a sticker album. Remember that? I also have three uh, editions of the DC Superhero Girls magazine comic magazine that was brought out last year and um, unfortunately they've stopped making it now. I, I've only managed to get hold of three, three issues out of the set that they did. Issue of three, four and this is six, seven. Three, four and seven. And then they stopped making it. Yeah, they went up to issue seven. They only did seven issues and then they stopped making it. So that was disappointing. I, I, I actually quite liked the little comic strips that were inside. There's the comic strip, uh, Ivy and Harley against Killer Croc. Yeah, they were really good, um, but they stopped making it. I guess the uh, audience wasn't quite there, so I keep them in this little magazine folder with the jigsaw. So, that's it. <laughs> yeah, uh, oops, can't get them back in now. Too hot. This is Wales, it shouldn't be this hot. I don't like hot weather. I can't wait for it to be cold again, honestly. I like it cold. I don't like it too hot. Cold is better. Okay. So that's my collection of DVDs and books. So uh, the person who requested this, this video was for you. I can't remember your name, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll look you up and I'll let you know if the vid's done. But you'll probably see it anyway, because hopefully you're a subscriber. So yeah, these are my DVDs and books. Thank you for watching. Bye.